Welcome, guys, to another episode of The Candy Show. I'm your host, Candy. Guys, you know where we're at. We are at the Red Curb Improv Comedy Club. And this episode is sponsored by Comedy Junkies. Make sure that you are following them on their official social media pages. You can find them on Instagram, and you can also find them on Facebook. Well, we have another special guest. His name is Jim. But I'm going to let him tell you all about who he is. You ready, Jim? Thanks, Candy. Yeah. All right. Tell everyone who you are. What are you doing today? I am. My name is Jim Barnes. I'm from California. I'm here in the Midwest doing a few shows. Uh, I was at Red Curb, the same club in May, and love it. Great crowd, great group of people. So I'm going to do a set tonight on the way to Chicago. Three shows tomorrow night left, Factory Chicago. Okay, Jim, how long have you been doing comedy? Right at 10 years. 10 years? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, what made you start? Oh, um, basically, uh, when I started was r when I got divorced. So, yeah, People it, might say this. it made me, but I mean, I was, I, I've been, I want to say studying almost. I was so into comedy, stand up comedy my whole life, even from a little kid. It was always one of those things. Where, you know, could I do it? Could I not do it? Anyway, so after divorce, it made me take the leap and immediately was um, just obsessed with the whole process. Like, I have to get good at this. How do you do that? And, um, yeah, I just loved it all my life. Music and comedy, since I was six years old, where I thought everybody was obsessed with. So i um, glad I did. Wish I would have started you know, when I was six instead of 50, but, you know. And a lot of people <laughs> might say that getting divorced or is comedy in itself. So do you kind of incorporate some of the I, personal? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. I used to a lot, of course, when I first started. That's, you know, it was really good for that. I have to vent about it and all that. And um, so, yeah, that was that was really good. And I um, still have a little bit of that in my, in my set, but, you know, in a good way. And, uh, yeah. What about your style? Now, do you talk about current events? Or are you talking no. about relationships? Are you I'm, talking about things you see? Tell me. So I, I kind of, my style um, and the, the kind of my lineage, if you look at the people you look up to and all that, are the joke writers. I write jokes. But they're about me. I always make them about me. And they're not really current event stuff because, I you know, when I write, I'm a good writer, I think. So I want to make stuff that's more universal. Um, I do write some current event stuff. I even teach a little bit online and about, you know, when you're writing monologues and that stuff, it has to be current events. But no, my stuff's about me. Even if it's not, it's about me by the time the joke's done being written. <laughs> and, you know, and whatever I'm going through right now, it's about being old and out of touch and single with kids and all that. It's, it's fun. It's oh, fun. I it's fun stuff. And uh, it's really fun to do. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Wow. Because... <laughs> I'm not a spring chicken, but <laughs> <laughs> I got long, a lot of years on you. <laughs> oh wow, well, to die in here, I guess. <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about what inspires you to get on the stage and want to make someone laugh. I I I'm at the point now where I really enjoy it, and I always loved the process of it. I wanted to be good at it. I'm very driven. Even the first time I was ever on stage. I want to get back up there right away because I want to be, you know, I, I like, I, I, I want the respect of my peers. I want people to say, oh my God, that guy was funny. And sometimes, you know, it wasn't. So that drives me. But also lately, last couple of years, really enjoying every second on stage. I just love it. It's the best time, you know, it's the best 10 minutes to half hour of the day, <laughs> you know. But also I'm 63 and like I realize my future is now. This is it. So it really helps me enjoy it, stay in the moment, be appreciative of now. You know, I mean, the future will take care of itself. So, yeah, it, it's just such a, it's a fun time. And it can be proud of, you know, hey, I wrote that and people laugh. It's, it's all that. Are you interested in writing for other people? Yeah, yeah. I do a little bit of coaching and... um you know, on the being on the road all the time has to end at a certain age for people. And I'm not on the road all the time. I I uh, home based uh, near LA, so I I can stay home a lot. But 
yeah, I always knew from day one, even the comments I was getting early on, if I, I'll end up a writer. Okay. You know what I mean? But I can't see myself stopping. I mean, being on, even during the, I did a Zoom show the other night, but even during the Zoom era, <laughs> it's like, no, I need people. Yes. I need face-to-face. People out on dates, having a drink, looking at me, I'm making them laugh. That's, <laughs> it's about that. So I can't see myself not being on stage. But um, I do I do really see myself um, doing a lot of writing. Okay. All right. Well, again, we are, we're on a time limit here, but I can't wait to see you on stage. Do you have social media? I do. Okay. Well, let everyone know yeah. what the social media is so they can follow you or book you or just see what you have yes. going on. On Instagram, it is at Jim Barnes Comedy, and Barnes has an E in it. On Facebook, I have Jim Barnes and Jim Barnes Comedy. And my website is jimbarnescomedy.com. I like that. Jim Barnes, you can find everything under Jim Barnes. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jim, for attending an episode of The Candy Show. Thanks, Candy. Can't wait to see you. You're welcome. Guys, once again, you already know, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube page. And that's capital C and the number two Candy Productions to YouTube. And make sure you are following the official Instagram page. And that's Candy Talk Show. Guys, thank you so much. Stay tuned for other episodes. And bye. Bye Bye-bye.